while we're doing this. So bring her in, bring her in. And look at that. Perfect! Hello pilots, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James and today we're doing a flight review on the F-35. Now normally I'd be standing outside at the field, but the day we did the flight review, I had completely slipped my mind to do the intro. So we're doing it back here in the studio, but we're gonna do a brief run through of the spec. We go further in detail on the build video, so you definitely wanna watch that. We'll go through all the spec, the unboxing, things like that. But Basically, if you're just watching this video, this is a new 70 millimeter F-35. It's got a 2957-2210 kV brushless in-runner motor installed. It has the upgraded landing gear, as you can see. Underneath, you got uh, all aluminum shock absorbing struts, trailing link on the nose, and they go in nice and simply. It is a very, I almost want to, I don't want to say basic, but you have no flaps. All you have to worry about is your landing gear, rudder, elevator, and aileron. But it comes out of the box as you see it. You don't have to do anything as far as decal goes. Uh, she's 6S powered. She's going to be running on anywhere from a 3500 to a 5000. I've been having so much fun flying this thing. This is like my new warm up be right away plane. The second I get to the field, this is the first one I put up because I just have so much fun with it. I hope you guys can see that uh, in the flying. So that'll about do it here uh, in this studio portion. Let's get out to the field and watch me fly the F-35A. All right guys, so we got a beautiful day. We got the 5000 Admiral Pro inside. This baby can definitely handle it for the 70 millimeter with the in runner. I love it. And uh, let's go for a flight. So I'm in mid rate. On, uh, on my controls. I don't really come out of that. Again, guys, I'm about a year into my EDF journey, but this thing is perfect, I believe, for a beginner because uh, it's very simple. You don't have to worry about flaps. You don't have to worry about a lot of things. You're really just working on your landing gear, and uh, the airframe itself caters to slow flight, and it lands very nicely. So let's take her up. And I've got my timer at the useful throttle time. So after, so when I'm below 25% on the throttle, my timer shuts off and I set the timer for three minutes and 20 seconds, usually because you just burn a little timer taxiing out a little bit. But for the most part, for all those product videos you saw, I was flying it in those and I was always on a 4,000. So I was always coming down around that time. So we'll see on the 5,000 where I come down. Are you ready, Alex? Yes, sir. All right, taking off right to left. Here we go. Give it a throttle. You see, she gets off so nice with a lot of authority. So I bring her back down to about half throttle as I'm coming in my down leg. Now we're going to turn and then I'm going to open her up. Let's turn it in. And there we go. Into a vertical. Look at that vertical. Give it a couple, whoa, couple rolls. So that's mid rate. You see that roll ratio. Put that throttle back in. Ah, she's awesome. And now, let's turn it in. Let's go into a big bow roll, like a jet. Beautiful. Bring it around again. I like playing with those high speed passes at the start of a pack. So I'm gonna bring her in. Now, I don't touch much rudder on these jets, especially a twin. When you got those twin vertical stabs, you give it a lot of rudder, man. She'll do some crazy stuff in the sky. So I don't really play with the rudder too much on a jet. I like to turn and burn, but I can't wait to see guys who are much better pilots than I put this thing through its paces. Roll it around. Nice. Now I'm going to come by for a slow pass, Alex. So I'm going to get her down, let her settle in. I'm about 50% on my throttle. I'm going to turn just over those trees and like the CCRC here, you got to drop in under those trees. Now I'm about 25% throttle. Look at that. I mean, look at that slow flight, nose up, nice attitude. And then you want to get up and out. She's got that in runners, got the power to just get you out of dodge. So I'm starting to get some cross breezes up there. So I do have a Hobby Eagle gyro. So let me turn that on. So now gyro is on. I had it off for the start of this flight. 
and let's see how she does with slow flight even better with a gyro look at that she'll handle the wind and then get up and I'm gonna go straight vertical whoa she's so nice bring her back down Woo! turn and burn over the trees roll it wow you can't beat that now when you hear my timer that'll mean again useful throttle time so right now I'm not there yet now let's fly it there's a little rudder in there so you put a little too much rudder into it especially when you're at high speeds and she could roll on you so that's why I suggest this is a beginner jet because beginners even like myself rudder is probably the least useful control <laughs> for a beginner, you tend to yank and bank it. That's why I dig a jet like this, because she wants to do it. And even a guy like Patrick who flies with us, he usually just mixes in rudder with his ailerons. So you can always do that as well. But every flight for me is a learning experience. So let's bring her up. Wow, look how high she goes out. So there's my timer. So now I'm gonna come around and give you a dirty pass. So I'm really high. So here's my gear. And they come out very quickly. There's no sequence doors or anything, like I said in the intro. So there's our gear. And now we're gonna bring her around and then we're gonna land her. So now I'm a little over half throttle just to keep my speed up there. Here we go. Now she's got that nice nose up attitude already. And now, here it comes. I'm low on the throttle. Now I'm getting a cross breeze, which is cool. But the gyro, that's what a gyro is for. It's going to help you. So now I'm throttle off. Little blip, little blip. I landed hard, but she can take it. Got those oleo struts. Nice trailing link on the nose. And she looks good. So let's bring her back in and then check our timer. Because I was... I guess I was a little heavy on the throttle, can't really tell. You know, you're trying to show a little bit of what it can do. So let's bring her back in. Alex, you got the camera ready? And I made sure to definitely have my, my cell checker. So I am 43 seconds over the three minutes and 20 seconds of useful throttle time I had. So I'm at four, really four minutes and three seconds of throttle time there with the 5,000. So that was just throttle time and there were a couple passes there where I barely was putting any throttle into it. Let's take her up and out. Still plugged in. And wow, 40%, 3.8. So if I was at four minutes useful throttle time, I that was almost a five minute flight, I would say. Maybe four minutes 30, we'll see. You guys will see it on the bottom left of the screen. Remember, I don't see what you see we edit that in after the actual timer but that's a nice storage charge on your 5000 lipo so there you have it guys that's me flying it on a 5000 i'm sorry i came in a little hot on those talking and flying is just something i am going to get more and more used to but uh as you come in i'm like you only get one shot after you film the whole thing so here are a few more landings you can see she could come down pretty slow uh, when you get her in the right position and better pilots are going to be able to fly this much better than I but I think it's a good demonstration I believe this model is a nice beginner model for people I don't see it being too uh, it's not too uh, involved whereas again you're not worried about things like flaps because beginner pilots flipping switches is just another thing you got to learn this is nice and basic it's got all the speed you want it has great slow fly characteristics and overall I couldn't be happy Happier with the F-35. After I got the F-22, um, it's funny, fifth generation fighters were just something that I always looked at and said, eh, they just don't, they just didn't do it for me. But the F-22, having flown it now over and over, I started to fall in love with it. And 
I started seeing the F-35 and I started falling in love with that too. So I really enjoy the fifth generation fighters now and I'm so excited to have this in my hangar and I know you guys will be too. So that'll do it for this flight review guys. Look out for more videos and if you have videos when you get this model, share them on Motion RC Fan Media, share them on YouTube, share us the links, let everybody see just how gorgeous this model can fly and we'll see you for the next flight review.